put it inside here. So I'm kind of like, I'm not being crushed completely now. I've got some sort of frame here. This other leg, I'm gonna put here, just so I'm like controlling his hips and legs so he doesn't just pass easy, yeah? Well, what we call it a knee shield, so just inside here. Okay, the first thing I want you to do from here, so you've got your position, he's gonna try and get my head just like playfully and you're just gonna, he's gonna pummel and now I'm gonna re-pummel. He's gonna pummel, he's gonna try and get my head. All I'm doing is, all I'm doing is stopping him from getting my head, yeah? This is the first basic thing we'll do, yeah? So from your knee shield, if Jamie sits up a little bit, so I've got one knee over. I like to have it at like a nice 45. And this one I'm clamping here as well. I'm not like pushing and pulling, using my strength. I'm just bracing him there. The second, the second thing I want is control of the shoulder, neck, collarbone, and the bicep here. Just to warm up quickly, we're just gonna, he's gonna try and pummel and I'm gonna try and re-pummel, yeah? Just basics. You're not gonna fight for it too crazy. You're just gonna make sure you stay in control. You do not want him to cross-face you, yeah? If he cross-faces you and flattens you out, your knee comes out and it's horrible for you, yeah? So that's one of the things I want you to fight for the whole time is keep control of this bicep here. Another thing I can do, accompanying with this, is what you'll add now, is you're just gonna, See how I'm controlling the distance here, yeah? I'm using my legs to like pull him in and take him out. Yeah, so now with this, I'm just gonna be like, affect his balance a little bit. And then that'll lead on to the next thing I'm gonna show you, okay? Which is basically like, I'm gonna pull him in, and then I'm gonna kick through and come out the back door here. But we'll do this, we'll do this again for a minute or so. So with the pummeling, I'm gonna control him here as well. So he's gonna pummel. I'm going to stay on the inside and just control his weight, yeah? Stay on the inside, control his weight. And control his bicep. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to... So I'm going to kick this leg through, yeah? Like, like that. Sorry, Jamie. If it hurts him, good, yeah? It's all good. It's not supposed to be like a tickle match. Okay, so I'm going to kick that leg through. And at the same time, I'm going to pummel my arm through as well. So it's like... Basically one motion, yeah? So this arm goes from here to underneath as I kick through. And I'm gonna headbutt him like in his chest here and keep tight. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll back. If I've got this underneath, I roll back to my shoulder and I'm gonna get his foot. I'm trying to get him to put his hands on the floor, really, yeah? If he puts his hand on the floor like that, I'm gonna go outside the back door. If he is uh, that'll stop me from coming out the back door, yeah? But then he's off balance this side now, so I'm gonna pinch that arm and roll over my shoulder. Make sure he doesn't close his legs and then take my leg out. And then secure the pass. You want? Some guys, like you'll shuck them so hard that they have to put their hand down. Now that's when you go out the back door and then you're gonna look to take the back from there. Or you can go guillotine. Something I like to do as well, even in the gi. So again, we're here. Kick through, arm follows, yeah? So if Jamie sits up a sec, it's like, kick through, arm follows, head to the chest. Make a grip, and then depending on what he does, is what I'm gonna do next. If he puts his arm in to stop me, I'm gonna clamp it and roll over my shoulder as I collect his legs. A super slow motion. Stop him from closing his legs and pass. So option one, come out the back door. He doesn't, he puts his hands down. I come out, get to the back. Option two, he puts the whizzer in. I can't get to the back. I clap the arm and I roll over my shoulder. Stop him from closing his legs. Take my leg out. It's not the end of the world if he closes his legs because you're on top, but ideally you want to stop that. Option three, he's, he's got the whizzer in and he's leaning back that way. So if I try to roll, it's not working there. So I come up onto this hand, the hand that's got the underhook, which he's whizzering, I'm going to take out and I'm going to like uppercut and see how his arm naturally follows and then I'm going to bring it back. Now I'm on his back again. 